Hello my friends, how are you doing? My City Looks Creative Pack has finally arrived, so here is a little teaser. Boom! back in Affinity Photo and I know this is the last day of the year but still I have something amazing for you and this actually is a really good start into 2021 because it is not just looks it's a great learning opportunity even in the free version of this pack you get an almost 30 minutes long online course that shows you how to apply these looks and how to learn from them and this is the important part here this creative pack is not just a collection of LUTs it's actually not LUTs at all it is adjustments and different effects that I apply to the images and you can look into every single step that I've done to learn to see how I adjusted these, how I created these looks. So this is a really, really good way to find out about different ways to reach creative goals. And I tried to use a lot of different ways so you have an opportunity to check them all out, you know? So there is gradients and gradient maps and selective color adjustments and blend modes and blend ranges. So different techniques that you can use to arrive at similar the results but for different reasons and with different final results so that's pretty important to understand to know and here's a really cool thing i will go deeper into that in the beginning tutorials of 2021 but i have already included it in this pack and i call it the color isolator toggle this is really cool because it is just one layer with a blend mode, in this case, luminosity. And when you turn it on, you can see that this separates out the color of the image. And here is already the first learning opportunity of this pack that you can look at that and you can immediately see the main colors in this picture are blue and orange. So these are the contrasting colors you want to work with when you adjust the image. You want to adjust the colors to separate out these colors to make the blue more intense and the orange more intense. So you have basically a two color scheme that makes the image so much more interesting to look at. So that's the first starting point that makes this pack so very interesting now if you don't want to jump in all of this kind of learning experience i do understand because this pack is also very good for just turn on and off effects uh, which are these different looks to just apply them to your picture so what you basically do is you go to file and place select any kind of picture in here let's for example select this one and place this in here like so move this to the right position and then you want to make sure that this is on the lowest layer. Now I do already have some pictures in here, so I'm not putting it at the lowest layer, but make sure it's under all of the different adjustment layers. And then, as you can see, this is a night picture. So the pack is mainly done for these night or evening pictures, right? And this, and when you scroll up here, you can see I have different neon looks prepared. So you just have to turn this on and off and you can see this will then create a more specific, more expressive neon look for these pictures you can see you can just switch through them by turning on and off these hooks here on the side so that's pretty cool to be able to do that. As you can see from the same picture we get completely different atmospheres we get completely different looks and again this is specific for neon lights we can look at another neon light picture uh, for example this one down here and you can see that even here the same thing works and you get different kind of looks and different kind of results from that right also here I have some simpler ones this is a gradient overlay with the blend mode but you can see still as a technique it's very interesting it does work and gives you great very easy results 
that you can apply to your pictures to just you can see how this changes from this original picture to that look with just one click with just one um, effect applied to that so this is also the interesting thing on how do you adjust your pictures in an effective way to get really cool results and get it where you want it to be right and again if we scroll down here to this color isolator toggle, if I turn this on, again, this separates out the colors, the main colors, the most important colors in the picture. You can see here, we have these green values and then we have these pink values in here. So this is good to know, to understand when you want to adjust the image. And in this case, if we go back up here, you can see that we enhanced the pink colors in this case and also turn the green colors into blue colors which then is also a great contrasting color to have right all right so let's go over to the city looks actually with this picture here and you can see again there's a lot of stuff for these kind of uh blue hour city pictures where you have the artificial lights already turned on so there's a really beautiful situation that uh you will basically encounter every single day in a city or anywhere where people live basically right so there you can use these filters and you can see i created a lot of different looks for example also cross processing looks that have more this kind of art style but they are very uh, famous and very um how can i say uh, very popular right now on pages like instagram for example so that's pretty cool for this kind of reason and you can see there's a lot of different looks that i created and the good thing here is for example if you have this look and you say okay uh, it's good but it's a bit too much just turn down the opacity like so and you can see okay i can just uh, pull this up a little bit and uh, to the to the position where you say okay i'm happy with that for example 50 percent. if you're happy with that that's great and you can open this up you can see this for example here i apply a single curves adjustment so this is also cool how to be effective and create a look that is really good for you and for your pictures right so you can double click on that and you can look in here specifically what i have done and then use this as a learning resource this is why this is so valuable if i would have done this as just a lot you wouldn't be able to see what i've done but here you can analyze it you can deconstruct it and really learn from that process so that's a really cool opportunity to do that and really look behind the scenes what's happening uh, how i apply these things plus like I said, the online course is in there to explain to you what's happening. And here's another one I want to show you. So there's other um, uh, cross-processed. These are more faded, as you can see. Also, a little bit of vintage look in here. So that's pretty nice. We have another one that has this uh, only red lights look, which is also very popular. You see everything is great. Just the orange and red lights are there anymore in the picture which is great for city photography because we have these artificial lights and they are it's, it's so nice to single them out and it gives you this expressive look to the picture so that's pretty amazing um i also included a little bit of the tilt shift effect as you can see here i'm punching a little bit into the contrast into the vibrance of the color so a lot of different um how can i say knowledge applied on how to adjust that so you get a good effect for your pictures right and this one is also nice it's i call it the hyper city compressor and you can see that this is compressing the pictures from the values at the same time giving it more saturation so you get this very clean very clear look again you say okay this is a little bit too much use the opacity to move that down you can see okay and say mm, i'm happy here this is just one click and adjusting the opacity. So you turn from a, well, nice, but not that interesting picture to this kind of really clean and sharp look that is very popular. So yeah, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of stuff in there. Like I said, 30 different looks. And also, like I said, starting next year, I will explain a lot more about color grading and especially about this color isolator toggle, why it is there, how to use that. But I, as I said, I also included that in the free online course that is part of this pack. All right, so that's it basically for today. I wish you a happy 2021. I will take a little bit time off for the next 10 days. Uh, I will work on my channel, but I'm not going to publish uh, videos in that time just to have a little bit resting time and uh yeah refresh for the new year that will be amazing again so thank you for being my community i wish you a happy new year stay safe have a good time and see you soon bye